friends, I hope you're well. Welcome to another Speed Build. Um, I have once again invited my friend Louis to join me in this voiceover. Would you like to say hi? Hi. Um, yeah, welcome back. Um, this Speed Build is a Ukrainian house and that is not a coincidence. I chose to build this um, house inspired by an apartment house, which is in Kiev. And um, it has a bar, which is also inspired by an actual bar in Kiev, and an apartment, which is also inspired by an actual Ukrainian apartment. And all proceeds from this video, um, no, from this build, um, which will consist of two videos. And this month's patron earnings um, are going to go to the Red Cross Ukraine, um, which is a great organization. Um, I'm, I'm sure you know about the situation and I don't want to talk about it really in this video because I'm not qualified and I want this to be a place um, where you can go and not necessarily think about all the bad happening in the world. Um, but if you'd like to do some research, then I will link a few pages in the description. And if you'd like to donate yourself, then I will also link the Red Cross website and you can read up on them if you'd like. Um, so I hope it's okay with you that I will put an additional ad in this video. Um, yeah. So in a sense, now if you're watching the video, you're donating with your time. Basically, you right. are. We're making Google donate, basically. So. <laughs> kind of, kind of. Got him. <laughs> um, so yeah, the um, thing is, this is a really, really cool house. And um, I was looking for something to build. I was looking in Kiev specifically. Nice. Um, I have never been myself. Neither have I. Um, but I hear it's like it's got some breathtakingly beautiful architecture. And I think this building is a very good example. This is the, I, and I, I hope if you've been and you've seen this building that you would recognize it from the roof. Um, this is the apartment house of Snesko and Chlebnikova. Please excuse my pronunciation. I cannot, <laughs> because I don't know how to pronounce it properly. <laughs> um, and it looks really beautiful. I saw a picture of this building where the sun was hitting it directly and it made this, like, it made the roof appear in this bright vermilion color and it made the actually yellowish stone of the building look more like, more white, maybe off-white. No, um, I'm, I'm gonna ask you something. I want you to be honest with me. What is vermilion? <laughs> uh, vermilion is a specific red shade, red, red red shade yes. Okay. So let's just call it red then. We're not pretentious snobs. We know all the 16 million colors of the <laughs> RGB color spectrum. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, of course. Um, so uh, I was really inspired by that. It was such a bright, intense color and it had those really cool roof windows and it looked like there were some, there was a very tall story, like a tall roof story. Did you end up tweaking your um, reshade to match the color? I did not, but now that you say that, I feel like I should have. <laughs> See, no, I'm thinking because people who do not have the reshade that you have, it's gonna look differently, right? It is, of course, gonna look a little different. I also really recommend this reshade, by the way. This is Dove, and I always put the reshade I use in it, like the preset. I always put that in the description. And this is so perfect to use during gameplay and like during building. Like this is not obstructing your view at all. Right, like some other good presets do. For the, for the camera tours. Yes. Um, but yeah, if you're ever wondering about that, I always put that in the description. Um, but yeah, this is a great reshade. Highly recommend that. And uh, yeah, I was actually looking for this 
very specific roof color for quite some time um, until I found this eco lifestyle roof pattern um, that worked so well. Can you adjust the... You have these patterns, right, in The Sims. Can you adjust the color of those? But they it only has, have like certain swatches. It right? has swatches have, like okay, like every other object. And um, like the pattern doesn't specifically like, yeah, it doesn't make sense for what the building look like, looks like. Right. <laughs> but I was more inspired by the color in the picture than the roof pattern itself. It'd be really cool if they let you like pick hex codes to put in. I like. Yeah, the, the color wheel that right. Sims 3 had, I think. Did they really? And I'm not an expert. Wow, thanks, EA. <laughs> I, I hope no one's gonna be upset about this, really. <laughs> like, there's no knowledge in this room. Like, we are yeah. devoid of yeah. Sims knowledge. Um, that might be a little annoying to listen to. Um, so turn I was off very... The sound. Hmm? Turn off the sound. <laughs> if you don't want to listen to us, you can turn off the sound at any time. Listen to your favorite podcast. We won't, we won't be insulted. That'd be really cool, actually. You could right. tell me about that. I always love a good podcast recommendation. Exactly. So. Well, they wouldn't hear this. Right. Right. So we'll put it, you'll put it, I'll, I'll comment under the video that they should listen to their favorite book. Sure. Um, so this apartment house is in Kiev, as I said. The architect is Mr. Artinov. I pronounce that very, in a very American way. Right. Um, and uh, the picture of this mansion was actually included in the collection of postcards of the beginning of the 20th century by the photographer Dmitry Markov called Beautiful Buildings of Kiev. Let's so got that down. I think that says it all. Right? Doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, just like looking at this video footage and then seeing how this um, building very much sticks out among all the other buildings you can see in the background. It's quite something. But I do, I do, I have to say, if this is, if this is anything to go by judging their architectural style, I, I really appreciate it. I think it's really like the detail work and all it doesn't it looks super slick thank you i tried my best to recreate re <laughs> yeah i gotcha <laughs> to recreate that style with the objects that i had which were made for this right um so yeah it's it's not accurate in in no way but i just tried to get the atmosphere across kind Wait, of. I, have a, I have a question if you had to tell me right now, if I was going to ask you, wait, I can just ask you. I'm asking you now, which, what would you say is the perfect type of building to build with all the Sims things that, you, that are in the game? What would you, would you say like maybe a farmhouse is the perfect building because you have all the building blocks in the game for a farmhouse? Or what would you say is the perfect building type for the Sims 4? Well, it really depends on the game, and I'm not sure if you're only asking Maxis things because I rarely built CC free. So. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. I'm just okay. Just include Maxis match. No, like not Maxis match content, but like Maxis content. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. <great. laughs> because as I said, I don't really build CC free, but in my experience for the, the specific styles that I like to do, what worked really well is doing a kind of just a mix of things to not try and be too specific about the the style of building that you want to do because that's what's limiting you. Yeah, gotcha. Um, or to do the themes that the packs have. So. Yeah, for example, if you wanted to build a farm and you had cottage living, that would work perfectly well because okay. that's what the pack is made for. Yeah, okay, I gotcha. So they do somewhat cater to the uh, to the community in that sense, that they bring up packs that actually make you able to be able to build some stuff. I think so. I think they're starting to get better about that, actually. Okay, right. Lately. So you, if, yeah, okay. So if you're rich enough to spend like 900 bucks on the game, you will actually be able to build some houses. That's true. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Um, so about you, you just said this building stands out and yes, um, I, it was very hard to choose a world um, to put this into. This I, I've chosen you, I recognize this build in the background. I recognize this. I've seen this before. Good. Right. <laughs> um, uh, so this is New Crest, which looks very American, as it's supposed to. Yeah. Um, it, it might 
even look a little like generically European, um, it does not look Eastern. Yeah. Um, not at all. But yeah, I, I think this uh, this is fine. Obviously, you could place this anywhere else if you like that. Um, so, as I said, this um, is the exterior that inspired uh, this build. And then, as you've read in the title, this is a bar. Um, so this. I actually uh, have not yet read the title. So, what? What? The title does not exist yet, so you couldn't have. But right. So why do, why are you saying that I should have read it in the title? Who are you talking to? It's just me here. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna make me real paranoid. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um. So. The bar that you're going to see me build is inspired by a bar called Rabbit Habit. Awesome name. Right? Yeah, right. Um, and it looks so cool. You might have seen it somewhere. I think it gets featured a lot because it's kind of a concept bar. Right. Um, and that's always cool, isn't it? Is it is awesome, Kiev. Yes. Yeah. And uh, it is characterized by the dried herbs, flowers, and grasses that hang from the ceiling over the bar. Oh yeah, that's I'm, really cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm showing you a picture. Yeah, I would totally get like the worst allergic reaction. If I have from been. dried things even? Oh man, I don't even know. Probably. Um, but yeah, I thought that looked really cool. I couldn't recreate that accurately in The Sims. Oh, um, do you have dried grass in The Sims? I don't think so. You do have a pampas grass vase, right. but that wouldn't work. No. And um, I didn't want to block the ceiling either because that's where you look from, right? During gameplay, I wanted this to be usable. Right. Still. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so I've I've done that as kind of a, a feature ceiling piece right over the bar, but I've left the rest of the ceiling untouched. Um, but I was trying to still get this very, it has almost a mid-century vibe to it, this bar. It's a, it's a, it's a, a futuristic mid-century style, is I, what I would uh, call yeah, it. Okay, so the, the mid of the coming century is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works. Um, and then it has a lot of rabid memorabilia, I guess, like little yes. rabbit accents everywhere. Oh, we're, yeah, okay, so we're um, talking about the animal. Yes, I right. did. I did not integrate that part into this build. Right. Um, but yeah, is I. Is there a, a lack of um, rabbit-related items in the sims? Would you yes, say? Yes, there is. I was thinking about swapping those out for llama okay, items. Okay, that also be pretty cool. Because there are a lot of those in the sims. Right. Um, but I didn't want to overdo it. I didn't want to get too playful. I felt like it was more of a serious space yeah. still. Yeah. Or at least yeah, that's it, what I wanted to classy. make. It looks classy. It looks right? really classy. But then again, Sims has that kind of cartoony style that always makes it feel like a little lighter than it is in real life. Maybe. So maybe I was trying to counteract right. that a yeah, little. I gotcha. Um, so I'm really happy with that bar and you're gonna, I'm going to start building that soon. But you're probably wondering about this garden that I'm doing right now. You haven't built it yet? <laughs> I'm kidding. About this, this backyard. Um, because this build is an apartment building and it has apartments. So what are we thinking again with the classic whoever runs the bar lives in the building kind of deal? Probably. Right. It uh, doesn't have to be that way. I just wanted to let you have the option of using this as a bar or as a residential. Okay. Um, yeah. I, it has two apartments. Um, the second floor, the floor right above the bar, um, I've left untouched. Now that's not true. It's not untouched. I've tried to make it look... L like an actual apartment that you would get. Like an empty apartment. It has right. walls, it has some architectural details, it's got a layout, it's got doors, and yeah, go. um, that sort of thing. So I thought that might be fun for you. If you like to do your own interior design, then maybe it it'd be fun for you to... It's like actually getting an apartment and then having to decorate it, but all the yes. basic stuff is already there. Right, and I think it's a really, it's a really pretty apartment. Like the base is... I case. will be the judge of that when we, when we get to it. 
yeah, you're not gonna see that in this video. Oh, okay, um, but no. yeah, if you'd like to download the build, then you can do that um, from the gallery at Honey Bella Builds, or from my patron, you can get the tray of files for free, of course. Um, so yeah, you can go ahead and do that. And if that's not your thing, then um, I have decorated the second apartment for you specifically. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, and how do you hold up? Hold hold the phone. How do you how do you water those plants? Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> so I was thinking like you could have some sort of spray or maybe like something actually beneath or uh, I guess above the plants running to the earth watering them. Uh, yeah, I I guess and it would be work. Dripping. I don't think I don't think it would work that well. I'll be honest. Um, with you. The, it works with moss and it might right. work with. I mean, these are Monstera's tropical pa plants. Right. Um, and if you've ever seen like um, one of those vertical garden pieces that you can hang on yeah. your wall. Those have tubes running through. Right. But I feel like it's different though. It's different when it's vertical uh, as opposed to being on the ceiling. It doesn't have to be. Like if it's a mo I'm not I'm not a plant expert by any means. I'm a plant expert. I'm telling you it's different. I have no, a, there's a things degree in plant plantivity. And I'm telling you it doesn't work that way. Uh, there's a few plants like moss where the soil is just permanently moist. Moss is actually a uh, sort of mushroom. A lot of people don't, don't know this, but... Um... No, that's not true, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> okay, actually, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know what plants are, man. That sounds very wrong. <laughs> well, um, eat your vegetables. We're just... <laughs> That's right. Did we join the war on misinformation on the side of misinformation again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it happens. It happens too often. Um... So yeah, this is just the, the accent piece, and then this is the bar, which is also kind of an accent piece, if I may say so myself. Um, it looks like an accent piece, especially because you've been like working on it for like straight, like, like five minutes straight. So it <laughs> must be the center piece of the room. It I, looks awesome. Thank you. I hope um, it's not too confusing. What I've like, do you? Oh, I can't follow any of this. No, I mean um, the glasses hanging upside down. Upside down. No, that, makes uh, that right? The yeah. way they they do that in bars, where they right. hang yeah. them into yeah, the they have like, like so, rails. They have like right. rail system, and then you put them in. And then the water can drop out if you've just cleaned them. Is that That's why? What it's for? No, oh, probably yeah. not. Oh, I, it makes sense. No, I feel like I'm embarrassing myself right now. <laughs> Well, that is totally unrelated, but I think it makes sense though. No, it's actually, it might just be what it's for. It doesn't matter. It doesn't yeah. work. Yeah. Um, so I feel like I've, I've seen that before and this bar has it, the rabbit habit. And I think it's really cool. So I tried to recreate that using the tool mod. Um, and the bar is actually functional. I tried that. You will see that in the video tour that it works. And then the rest of the layout is also still inspired by Rabbit Habit. If the glass are not. upside down, how do you put the fluid in? I honestly don't know how to react to this. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, I've been thinking about this for like two straight minutes now. I can't get it into my head. <laughs> um, well, you get a really long straw. It's for Australians. <laughs> That's what the glass are for. I find it weird at all. It makes sense, perfect sense. Stop it! <laughs> no, I got you. Back to topic at hand, which was... I have no idea. Uh, the layout was right. still inspired by this, and I got to use Harry's spoon set in a, a more proper way for this build, which I really liked. I'm always really impressed to see that you can um, raise like the floor in this not like, not like, like, not like, raise the floor in the Raise the floor. Yeah, that's not, no, that's not what I was talking about. Like, make pedestals and, and uh, stuff like that. Yes, that is a new feature. Uh, I figured, because it, it doesn't seem like something EUA would have implemented at all. In a base game, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Wait, is it not in the base game? Do you have to play a DLC? Okay, I was going to say, that sounds ludicrous. Um, yeah, that's really, that's really cool. Um, it really helped me have this have this be an open layout and have this still feel 
open and grand, but still designating different areas. Yeah, it keeps it classy. Absolutely, I agree. It, it looks very much open, but the, um, the raised floor kind of makes it feel like you're on a stage somewhat, and that's really cool. Right, and then the Harlux room dividers, which are actually a headboard, um, those worked super well to, yeah, just s split those areas up a little bit and still keep it cozy. I feel like that's something I really want from a bar, is I want to feel like I'm in a nook. Right. Kind of. Yeah. I don't know if that's a me-specific thing. I um, like when they don't smoke in bars. I really right. enjoy that. That's why I haven't been to a lot of bars in my life, because when like around the time in my life when I would have started going to bars when I was at that age right. people were still regularly smoking in bars right. and I I've I've never smoked and I I have problems breathing in smoke so I never I got just have used problems breathing overall doesn't yes. matter whether I'm in smoke or not but smoke definitely makes it worse <laughs> um, so because of that I, I never got used to going to bars and now I haven't started. So That's, I really yeah, do not agree. know a lot about but bars. But I do, I can absolutely enjoy being in a bar. Like every time I, I actually go to a bar with people, I'm like, wow, this can be an, an enjoyable experience, depending on the people and the bar. Again, if it's a smoker bar, there's less of a chance of me enjoying my stay, but um, I actually know some really cool bars. So some have like a table tennis uh, table. Table tennis table? Yeah. Um, <laughs> ping pong table. Ping pong table. There you go. Uh, it's not ping. It's not ping pong. It's table. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> and I think that's really cool. When you have like an activity to do in the bar, or they have like a pool table, or um, yeah, that's all I got. Yeah. Darts. That is also more of a cozy bar thing. I feel like this is more of a classy this bar. This is absolutely classy. Yeah, it's also I, very modern. I feel. I was considering making this a lounge. I'm still not entirely sure what the difference really is. I just know that a bar requires a TV, which did not make sense for this establishment. So do not look in the chimney. <laughs> <laughs> did you hide a TV in the chimney again? Yes, I did. <laughs> oh my God. Um, so yes, this is the ground floor, it's the bar. It works if you wanna use it as a bar, you can. If you'd like to use this as a residential instead, um, then you will have either the first floor to um, decorate yourself or you will have the second and third floor one of which is the roof right. floor um, to use for your sims and that interior I will show in the next video I could not get it done in time I'm very sorry um, but you can like if you want to download this build then you can see it there already. But um, if you'd like to not get spoiled, then I would advise you to not look at that because I really, really loved doing this interior. It was also inspired by a Ukrainian interior design firm and it's so good. Right, agreed. I would love to rent a bar, like go with friends and just have the whole bar to myself. That sounds awesome. Who has that kind of money? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Bye. See you next week. Bye.